Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Pisces. This is going to be for the uh, month of your March 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice. What else you guys need to know, look out for, apply this to your own unique situation, get to switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Life, all right so Pisces tell me about Pisces here in love tell me about Pisces in love over energies for Pisces regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for uh, March 2023 Sun Moon rising Venus signs for Pisces We have the full Aries energy. Could uh, also Aquarius energy here. We have the Four of Cups here. Ten of Swords. We have the Hermit. We have the Devil and the Eight of Pentacles here. Whoever this is, I feel like there was a situation that ended here. I feel like whoever this is, this individual is not ready to commit to a relationship here. You might have offered this person a couple love or someone here offered someone a couple love and I feel like it was rejected here. Ten of Swords here in the Hermit. I feel like whoever this is, someone here distanced themselves from this relationship. This is interesting. I feel like someone here could have gone ghost. Yeah, uh, with the Devil card and the Eight of Pentacles, I mean, someone here could be el elbow deep in the work or something like that or someone here just has a negative taste when it comes to romantic relationships and they feel like someone here didn't want to jump into a relationship here. The devil, Capricorn energy. Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the fool. Why is a fool here? Why is this fool card here? We have the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the four of cups here and the three of swords. You know, one of the reasons why I feel like we have someone here that didn't take the offer or won't take the offer here. Someone here is still overcoming uh, heartache, uh, despair, pain, um, betrayal. Yeah, some of you are still overcoming that. Ten of Swords with the King of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. The Hermit and the Two of Cups. One of the things I'm getting is that I feel like this situation that you're in here, Pisces, I feel like both of you guys are mirroring each other. Yeah, because I feel like you guys have been through similar experiences and I feel like you guys are triggering each other uh, triggering each other's, you know, past pain. Yeah. So I feel like both of you guys are in kind of like the same space here, Pisces. Tell me about the devil. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Eight of Pentacles here, and the Five of Wands. Pisces, I feel like you're that Queen of Wands. I feel like this Queen of Cups is someone that that's hurt you in the past here. Whoever this is, I feel like you're still feeling this person's energies in or around you. You're still feeling like this person's pissed off. You're still feeling this person's negative energy. And I feel like this King of Swords is a newer person here. And I feel like this is the person that you rejected here. Yeah, but apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want, okay? These are general messages. Uh, tell me about Pisces, this person. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Pisces here. Yeah, it could be a situation that you met this new king here, this king met you, you know, things are going great, but I feel like over time you guys started triggering each other because maybe both of you guys, like I said, have been through similar, ex similar experiences and you feel like you guys are still healing from that. Uh, it just seems like both of you guys are not ready for a relationship. The Ace of, Eight of Wands here and the Six of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles here and the Ten of Wands. The Five of Swords here and the Three of Wands. Five of Wands and Six of Pentacles. This is the past person. 
Eight of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, whoever this is, this is an individual that has a lot to say. I wouldn't be surprised that some of you guys are still willing to talk to this person here, Pisces. Yeah. Five of Swords and the Three of Wands here. This, whoever this king is, this person plays a lot of games. Uh, you know, I feel like one of the things here, I feel I, one of the things that has happened here between you and this person is I feel like there was a lot of jealousy. There was a lot of arguing. There was a, like, I feel like this person was comparing you with other people here. Um, I, I just feel like, you know, if you were to like speak to this person again, that's what you could expect from this individual. I feel like this person wants to communicate with you. They regret hurting you here, okay? They regret traumatizing you, okay? Oh, this I, I feel like this is an individual that you just keep going back to. It's like you don't want to, but I feel like you keep getting sucked back in. You know, one of the things I'm feeling like the universe and a higher power is protecting you. The thing is, some of you guys are having a hard time listening to those messages or the messages that are coming through from this higher power here, okay? Because I feel like some of you guys keep some of you guys keep going back, Pisces. And clearly, there is someone new that you have a very strong connection here with, but you reject this, this rejected this individual, or both of you guys rejected each other here. Tell me about the Five of Swords, about the Eight of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Ten of Cups here. You will come, you know, Pisces, I feel like you will come to a realization and step away from the situation here. Yeah. I, I just feel like there's an energy of like you not wanting to do the same thing over and over and over and over again. But I, I, I do feel like, you know, there, there, you know, I do feel like you are being protected. I feel like you're being divinely guided here to kind of like move away from this or to heal. Tell me about the outcome and advice here for Pisces regarding their love situation. What else does Pisces need to know? Look out for work on here for February, not February, for March 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Seven of Pentacles here in the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Moon here in the Three of Pentacles, and then the Chariot here in the Magician. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles here in the Page of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, and the Three of Pentacles. Seems like someone here is definitely looking back at their mistakes, working on their shadow side here. There's definitely an over energy of overcoming this or overcoming the pain, the trauma that you've been through here. Just having what it takes to take care of yourself right now. You know, Pisces, I feel like you're elevating yourself here. I feel like you're transcending this, okay? I feel like you're overcoming this, whoever this is. I do feel like someone here is peeking in and spying on you here. Uh, Page of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords here. Yeah, someone here wants to communicate. This is past energy here, by the way. The past energy is hindering you from actually accepting new love here. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Moon, and the Ace of Swords, the Three of Pentacles here, and the Ten of Pentacles. This is an individual that fears losing you. This is an individual that wants to tell you the truth that they want to be with you. They want to work things out here with you. Thing is, I, I really feel like some of you guys might want, I do feel like some of you guys are open to actually sitting down and having a conversation with this individual. Tell me about the Chariot here and the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Magician here and the Two of Swords. Yeah, there's going to be confusion here. Yeah, there's going to be confusion here. I feel like, you know, you do have a decision to make here. You know, one of the things I, I keep I keep getting is that, you know, the universe is keep, uh, just keep, the universe is just trying to wake you up. It keeps waking you up here until you get it here. You know, you know, the universe sends you the same uh, lessons over and over and over again until you learn it. So, you know, I do feel like this is like another thing that the universe is trying to do here. So... Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys uh, in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.